Hi, my name is Glenna Hecht, and I'm a member of the Center for Spiritual Living. I give my time and my financial gifts to the Center for two reasons. One is a genuine heartfelt thank you for filling a hole in my soul that I didn't know was there. And uh, I've realized through coming to the center that it's given me so much and, and it really has allowed me to flourish and grow in my own life. And second of all, because I'd like the center to be here for years to come for myself and for anyone else that walks in the door so they can experience the great joy and abundance and grace that I've been fortunate to achieve over the last seven years. Uh, I grew up in a very traditional Jewish household. We had eight sets of dishes and the men and the women sat separately in synagogues. So uh, imagine, you know, growing up in Yentl was kind of what I experienced. And uh, I didn't really have much religious education. I understood the rules and the, and the traditions around what I grew up in, but not much else than that. And a personal experience um, in 1997 caused me to question whether or not that was the path that I wanted to be taking going forward. And I dug deep and realized that it wasn't at that point filling me up and so I needed to go on a mission to search for something else. I moved to Dallas in 2002 and became friends with a woman who had been on a similar path to myself and she recommended that I come to CSL. So I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and the, finally I came to the Center for Spiritual Living um, and I walked in and seated myself in the very middle of one of the rows up front um, and introduced myself to everyone not thinking about the fact that here's this girl from an Orthodox Jewish family and her first uh, sermon that she attended was on Easter Sunday so it was something that I couldn't process. I wasn't ready for it. And I did the very mature thing. I got up in the middle and, and kind of ran out the door with my hair on fire, uh, realizing that I wasn't ready for the gifts that the center was ready to give to me. And so a couple of months went by and I came back and sat myself on the end of a row and met everyone that was there and listened to Reverend Peter and was so just enthralled by the message and have kept coming ever since and seven years later um, I'm still coming to the Center for Spiritual Living. I donate my time, um, I love to lead seminars and I believe that it's so important to give your financial gifts so that other people can enjoy what I've been so proud to experience. Um, I'm a far different person than I was when I walked in the door. I'm compassionate, I have joy, um, I thank God and Spirit every day for what's come into my life, the people that I've met, the gifts that I've received, and really to be such a far better person and far deeper person um, and grateful for everything that I have. And I have CSL to thank. So I invite you all to join me and to give of yourself, your time, and your financial gifts to ensure that this extraordinary environment is here for us all to enjoy for years to come. Thank you.